everyone in this video tutorial we are going to see how to quickly create a layout in QGIS so we need a plugin for it now let us go to the plugins and select manage and install plugins in the plugin sections select all and here type in layout loader so you can find the plugin over here install it once the installation has been completed let us close it and you can directly see it has been added to the QGIS toolbar so if you don't find this tool just right click on this empty space under toolbars you can find layout loader just enable it now let us begin so click on this layout loader and when you are opening it it will be empty so just hit on load more this kind of uh, templates will be uh, available for layouts so here I am going to choose standard A4 landscape template to prepare the layout so after choosing it you can see how it is looking like you can see that I have already loaded my uh, shape file for which I need to create the map in the uh, canvas so let me go back to this uh, layout so you can see that the layer is not visible so click on this map and you can see automatically the item properties will be available otherwise you just need to right click and once again click on item properties here in scale I am going to clear the default setting and the next is I am going to set the map extent to the to match the main canvas extent so you can see here now the layer is available so let us quickly fix the map so in order to zoom in or you to move the map you can see there is an option called move item content select it and after selecting it you can easily move the map like this if you want to zoom in please use control button so just hold on to the control button and use the mouse scroll to zoom in and reverse it for zoom out so like this you can fix this map and now you can see the option over here select or move items so using that you can select the individual items that is elements like title scale then uh, the main map descriptions anything you can select and move for example you can see I can move the scale up and down we just need to select it and we can easily move it to the top and bottom or sideways now let us edit the title so select the title and you can see under item properties you can choose this title for example here I am going to type in Africa Africa and you can see it has still not been updated you just need to click on this URL and once again come back to source now it is be it will be updated so now in order to make my map more beautiful I'm going to add some base map to it so let us minimize this and go to the main canvas here I'm going to use the HCM GIS plugin for uh, adding on base map so I have already made a video on it you can check it out I'll be giving it in the description so I'm going to use ESRI National Geographic base map let us wait the wait for the base map to get loaded once it is get uh, getting loaded you can bring this uh, shape file to the top now you can see here how it is, looks like now if you move back to this uh, layout it will be updating over here also you can see here if you want you can add description for your maps here or here so just click on this and you can easily edit it in the main properties you can easily edit this items same thing for this also you can easily edit Let's it quickly see how to add legend so in the left hand side corner you can find add legend if you don't find it here at the top in add item section you can find add legend so you just need to draw a box
like this you can draw a box you can see the available features will be updated for example we are having african shape file and next is we are using this esri national geographic waste map you can edit this font size or if you want you can also change the title for example if you click on this uh, you just need to select it before that disable this auto update and for example i am just selecting the esri national geographic if you want to edit the title you can use this option to edit it quickly so i am going to just add in base map and now you can see it has been updated so in order to change the font size just click on for example i need to change for africa first so i am selecting africa and here you can find fonts and text formatting and i am going to change it into first is in order to edit the africa font size you can see item labels click on the item font and here i am going to set it to 8 so let me keep it to 9 okay so once it's done you can see it has been updated over here likewise in order to edit the base map you can see the subgroup heading click on over here and once again i'm going to put it to 9 so like this you can add the legends you can also move move it like this okay to draw a box just come down you can see the option frame if you click on frame the box will be available like this okay if you don't want you can remove it or if you want you can edit it also there are options available so if you want to remove the grid, just select the map and come down come down you can find this grids so bring it down now you can see some defaults grids are available you can use the shift button okay so we have to remove it one by one like this click anyone and you can remove it so you can see here the grid has been successfully removed also add the grids once again select map and come down you could find grids so add a grid select it and click on modify so here we are going to set the grid interval so i am going to use 25 as the grid interval you can choose it accordingly you can experiment and choose it accordingly so now you can see here once again click on map grids modify and after that after placing the grids if you want you can add the frames i'm just going to leave it as it is you can also draw the coordinates as you can see here the coordinates has been come up you can see the coordinates you can find it you can also change it from decimals for example if you want to fix it to decimal minutes you can choose it accordingly and you can also change the orientation for example it is in horizontal so i am going to use vertical ascending so you can see here it how it is changed so likewise you can change the others also for a right i am going to set the same vertical ascending for the top vertical ascending and for the bottom vertical vertical ascending so you can see here how it is you can also change it back the top and bottom so now it looks good you can also increase the distance for example it is one millimeter i can increase it to two you can see how it is as how it has been moving up so like this you can prepare the map layout quickly so if you want to export it simple layout export as an image or if you want to export as a pdf you can choose it 
so I'm going to export this as an image so okay don't show me this you can, you choose, can choose any folder and save it now hit the button save you can set the DPI so I'm going to defaultly use 350, 350 as my DPI click on save so you can see here it has been exported let us view it by clicking over here and you can see how the map has come up like this you can easily prepare the maps in QGIS using default layout so the same option if you go to layout and click on export as a PDF it will be it can be exported as a PDF also it will be exported as a PDF you can view, the, view that as you can see here Thanks for watching. If you find this video useful, please do subscribe and give me a like. Thank you.